Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna uh, go over your season 52 tech tree guide. Um, so we've picked out a pretty good path here. I think most of you will be able to follow along. So make sure you stay tuned, and watch to the end. It's gonna be an interesting one. I do want to announce at the beginning of this video that um, I've uh, we're now gonna be doing monthly giveaways on the channel for channel members. So. The, the way you can think of it is it's kind of like a lottery or like a raffle so you uh, you join the channel and then you get access to being entered into this giveaway and it's really cool so it's a new thing from Supercell that I'm allowed to do but um, I'm gonna get stuff like this um, like figurines exclusive like Supercell things maybe some boom boxes um, merch other stuff that you can't buy um, and I'm gonna be able to give that back to you guys once a month. It works really well. I basically just send the winner a code, and then they redeem the code. It shows up right at their doorstep. So, um, yeah, community raffles. If you guys do want to join the channel, then that is what you get to be a part of. Um, appreciate those of you that uh, subscribe. Also, we're gonna be you know posting worships each and every day. So if you do want to follow along and get the most help, I appreciate that. And using the code Chicken in the shop, big shout out to you guys as well. So. That being said, here's where we're at. Now we got up to, uh, we got up into the top 200 for right now. And the thing with this season is we want to go defensive. Defensive seems to be the way to get it. Um, yeah, so we want to go defensive before really doing anything else. Um, <clears throat> but the first stop, I think for everybody, is the where do we go? I skipped way too far ahead. The troop health now, the heavies aren't that good because there's so many mines and shock mines and stuff. Heavy rush isn't really a thing, um, until we can get some more tools to use them. Uh, we're gonna leave them unupgraded for right now. So, the first stop was the troop health. You absolutely need the troop health, or your clones are going to fizzle. The clones are not super strong, but they will get you through the base, um, at the very least. So, so we went to troop health first, then we backtracked. Next stop was building health, and this was before having um, any other defenses. So you have to, once you get the building health, it's not good enough on its own if you've skipped everything else. That was my problem early on. Um, once we got cannons, just simply as another defense that the troops have to run through, that made a huge difference. I'll probably go for mortars next. Um, we'll see where that gets us, but at least for right now, uh, the building health, the building damage, and the troop health, those are kind of the three things that we need. Moving ahead, we'll get uh, boom mines and troop damage, and I'm sure that'll be good, but the building health so far has done better than the, the 100 troop damage, which is nice to see. Um, so yeah, so yeah, depending on where you start in the season, um, I would still say go for the troop health first, right off the bat, then work your way down towards more of the defensive stuff, and that should put you in a pretty good position. So. The base here is nothing special. This is just something that I threw together. Um, if we look at some of the top guys, um, or maybe just some players that are in gold already, let's see if we can find some. Um, but up, 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 way up here. So this is cool because it'll give us kind of a sneak peek into what's uh, to come. So if we look at this guy, for example, similar style. Uh, it's this kind of wraparound style because we're not really flaring. The thing with the clone riflemen are uh, you can't really flare them that effectively because as soon as the way they work is, you know, as soon as they die, they spawn more riflemen. Weaker uh, troop damage, weaker health, but they spawn more troops. But those troops that spawn after they die initially, once they pop once, they don't respond to flares. So you can't really flare the clone riflemen unless you do it right off the bat. Otherwise, you're just kind of splitting up your good clone riflemen from your weaker ones that are already almost dead, and those ones just end up dying off. So um, it doesn't really help you in that sense. Uh, let's see where the chicken ship is at, actually, right here. Um, yeah, it's still early. It's still early. I mean, six out of six chests. A lot of guys just wait now. But um, So that's the, that's the base. That's the tech. Now let's show you the attack. Um, I was able to get in a pretty good swing of things here, but you'll see right here the attack is very straightforward. There's only one thing that I would um, keep in mind is the crystal critters, they do actually pop mines, and they explode on them right away. The explosive drones, they have to be activated first, so they have to lose. You know when you throw them and they kind of just stand in place for a sec like they've been shocked? 
once that expires, once they move, then they can take out mines. So they don't really work that well for taking out mines, especially a tick one, because they just die to everything. Um, they're good for getting some chip damage on the engine rooms at, you know, towards the end of the battle. But otherwise, I would almost exclusively use the crystal critters to clear mines. So you see what happen happens is what I do is the crystal critters are going to run in the direction of your troops. So what we want to do is we want to throw them ahead of all the mines and then they run back towards us and they pop everything on the way. Now, you'll see here, if they hit shock mines, they won't do that. They'll stop in place. But you can get some really good value of getting them to run forward if you can um, if you cannot have them all die the second you throw them down. So you see right there, that one was able to run forward and it, I, I don't know if it grabbed any more mines, but that's the idea. Um, the battle before this, actually, I'll show you this one real quick before we get into it. Even though we got a draw, we got some really great mine clearing out of the uh, Crystal Critters. So we'll just play it in two speed here before we get to, into some live hits. So that was three shock mines we got down. Then look at this one. This one's really cool. Um, so look at this. They cleared out almost all of these mines just because we put them so far back. We got so much value out of that one. It cleared like seven mines on its own. And then look, we, by the time we get up here, there's a couple shock mines to deal with, but not really much else. So yeah, that's been the only thing really that's been able to help me. I mean, other than that, we're essentially just free clearing um, and then flaring on the engine when we get to the very end. You just got to be careful with the clones. You flare them too early, it doesn't really work out. If you flare them too late, it doesn't really work out. So just got to be careful with it. So let's get into some live hits, guys. You guys let me know in the comments, how are you making out uh, the season? What path did you go? What's working? What's not working? Um, oh, we got our first 4 ER. Okay. This is going to be interesting. And I believe if you don't have any troops down, I think the Crystal Critters will just stand in place. So just make sure that you actually have troops for them to run towards. Little stuff, I know, but, you know, we don't really have a ton other to work with right now. So this guy, he rushed to four. I don't know if that means he's going to have um, crazy troops or something, but let's see. Should be an interesting one, nonetheless. So you see right here, I'll try to pop these mines with the explosive drones. The machine gun's probably going to light them all up. Because they, yeah, they, they stay in place for too long. So you see, we just kind of wasted that. They didn't really do anything there for us. Uh, Would have been better off saving for these guys. And pop, 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 pop. They actually split up kind of nicely over here. Not going to lie. So at this point, I'm just going to use the explosive drones for extra chip. We're going to go ahead and flare. And 258. Not too shabby. That worked out really well. We got a great split on that one. Let's see what the building health. Oh, the building health is slowing them down, guys. That is slowing them down. That's what we want to see. Um, that's what we want to see. So we could probably make it to rank 15 right now, I would think. But yeah, the building health is huge, uh, especially combining that with the cannons. It, it gets very difficult. It just takes... It's not that it's difficult. It just slows them down so much. That as long as we don't totally screw up our attack, um, then we should be fine. But you see right here, I, I believe these these rifles have popped. So you see they're not doing nearly as much damage as when the clone rifle would first start out. Um, but yeah, so that's good. That brings us up to 20. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um, but yeah, yeah, overall, not a horrible start to the season. It's uh, It's been interesting. I mean, it, it's going to depend on the tech path that you took, right? But um, the good news is, especially when the stat nodes kind of become the meta, like right now, I'd like typically that means that everybody's going to be able to catch up at some point. So if you're not there yet, don't worry. Uh, you should be able to get there without too many problems. All right, let's go. We're clearing stuff nice and early with the crystal critters. The Crystal Critters have been surprisingly great. I think this is the first time, possibly ever, in the game that I've actually not only found them useful, but uh, fairly strong at what they do. Um, this is a tough base. This is a tough base. We're struggling here. We are struggling here. All right, let's throw some more down this way. Let's throw some more. We, we've had a lot of riflemen get popped, which is not good. Not good. I'm going to get kind of desperate and throw some drones back there. 
it's weird. They they don't do anything. There we go. Okay, that was good. Um, they don't uh, pop mines when you throw them on them. But sometimes they do that. Like, sometimes they do pop them. So it's weird. Don't really understand. Whatever. Now, when you get to this point, something that I've been struggling with is when do I flare? Typically, it's better to... Um, because, like I said, once you rifle them and die, they can't, um, you can't flare them, right? So what ends up happening is all your good riflemen go onto the HQ, or the engine room, and then all of your uh, weak riflemen stay on the defense. I think it's easier just to take out that defense where you got the whole pack, push through, and then get to the engine. I think we won that one, I'm not sure. Push through and then get to the engine, and that seems to do it a little bit faster. Uh, I forget what time we got there. Ah, oh, 238, so that's a big fat L. So, anyways, that's how you guys can get started off on the season. Uh, I hope that does help you out. Let me know how you're making out down below in the comments. And don't forget, guys, if you want to become a member of the channel, you're going to be entered into a raffle lottery once a month. We're going to do a really cool Super Cell giveaway. So, appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Chicken out. Back, back.